Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Saturday, February the 4th, here in the heartland in Indiana. It is sunny, as you can see, coming through the window. 17 degrees this morning, but by noon, it's going to be 34. So we're going to get a lot of uh, the steady increase of temperature through the day. We're going to probably hit 40 degrees this evening, so it's going to be a great weather day. Sunny. We got big basketball games. IU Purdue, North Carolina, Duke, and we are preparing to go to baseball this morning. It's going to be a great morning to get inside, get some work done. We've only got, I think, five indoor sessions left before we head outside, which is crazy. Um, but a month from now, we'll already be kind of having our schedule ready, um, all set to get outside. So we're going to go get ready, load up, and uh, hit the road. But first, let's make some breakfast, shall we? All right, here's what we got outside. Remember, 17 degrees, still some frost, some things, but the sun is out and it is not snowing, not raining, not icing, anything like that on a, Fre a February day. We will definitely take a look at that. Can you see that? Look at that thing. Anyway, it is cold out. All right, decided to switch up the toast a little bit. Went for the butter instead of peanut butter. Don't think it's quite as bad for you. I don't know all the nutritional things, but I think there were a lot of calories in peanut butter from what I was looking. So um, we went with a couple pieces of toast. And I went with two because we practice from 10 to noon. By the time we load up and get out of there, we're not going to eat lunch till 1 o'clock. So I'm going to be really hungry if I don't eat. So uh, here we are in the command center. Getting ready to uh, edit yesterday's video. Uh, again, I try to edit to post, so there's not a ton, I'm sorry, I try to film to post, so there's not a ton of editing involved. It's just making sure everything looks good, sounds good, and put it all together. Um, but I'm gonna have some breakfast and get the day started with some toast and some editing of video. Hi, how are you? Okay, we are two weeks into me trying to eat a little bit better. My big thing is not what I eat, it's how often I eat. I could sit there on that couch and kill a late night peanut butter and jelly, late night bowl of cereal, some chips. I could kill all that at night. Oh my gosh. Every morning I could get to McDonald's and get those delicious breakfast sandwiches. But I'm not. I've kind of turned over a new leaf trying to just do a little bit better. And I have not had a breakfast sandwich in the morning for two weeks, which is a huge accomplishment for me. And at night, I'm either snacking on almonds, the low fat, low calorie, tasteless popcorn, um, some fruits, stuff like that. I got some celery, we're gonna eat that too. So, hey, hopefully you're doing the same. Uh, and I'm kind of proud of myself. I'm kind of proud of myself for Turn a little bit of a corner. I had to do something. I was, uh, I, I, I'm not losing a ton of weight, but I think I've lost a little bit. I feel better. I'm sleeping better. And uh, I think I have more energy through the day. Now it's just, now that I'm not eating as much, I need to keep that up. My goal is to keep that up for a few more weeks and then really kind of turn to what I'm eating and trying to get outside. When it's 12 degrees outside, it's challenging to get outside and walk. But this coming week, it's going to be nicer. So hopefully I'm going to be able to get out and knock out a, uh, a walk every day, hopefully, but then also start to adjust what I eat as we're getting a little bit further in the journey, as they say, in the season of life that is weight loss. But anyway, I wanted to fill you in on kind of the method of the madness um, and share some success. So I'm very proud of myself so far. I've wanted to go off the wagon three or four times. I cannot tell you how many times I'm like, oh my gosh, a sandwich from McDonald's, a bacon, egg, and or, I'm sorry, sausage, egg, and cheese, McGriddle. Oh, doesn't that sound great? But nope, we didn't do it. We got toast. We're eating toast and bananas and all kinds of stuff like that. So, um, yay me. Yay. So we're here in the kitchen and the light is hitting the TV just perfect. First off, holy crap, we need to dust our TV. That is gross. Second off, what the heck is hitting the TV? Is that the ball? We've got that multicolored ball out here. We've got a soccer ball running around. Uh, I think the old two little fellas got some splaining to do. Look at that. Very clearly, something has been hitting our big, expensive TV. We gotta find out what that is. But anyway, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta 
dust the TV. Do you do that now so you can see if you're dusting? Probably. But the sun is just coming in perfect over here. We got those lights up there. I'm just gonna lights. Gosh, we got those windows. Let's see, see how the light science, baby. Good afternoon. It is one o'clock. We had a great baseball practice this morning. Uh, we got a lot of kids sick, so hopefully, if you are watching this, hopefully you're feeling okay. Quite a few fevers and just kind of end of winter crap going. Well, not end of winter; it's February. Midwinter crap going around. So hopefully you're healthy. But we had a great practice. It was really, really good. Um, then we stopped. I got Hardee's on the way home. Not the best of food, but whatever. It was quick. We're here. It's one o'clock. We are. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do because. At 4, I think, is Purdue and IU, and it's 6.30 North Carolina Duke. I don't want to watch North Carolina Duke because North Carolina is making me so mad. I'm going to lose my mind during that game, so I can't watch it. But I do want to watch IU-Purdue. So we'll see what the afternoon entails, but everything's good so far. Oh, Heidi's, got, Heidi's got forensic files on again, so T's and P's to me. Um, yeah, there's some crazy, there's some crazy people out there. They commit some crazy crimes. Anyway, we're going to go continue our afternoon. We'll take you with us. Probably going to head to the store either today or tomorrow. Um, but it's warming up. It's getting close to 40 degrees. It's really, really windy. Look, you can actually see it. Can you see that? You can see that. See that tree blowing in the wind? I was just outside, so I'm not going to go back outside. But uh, anyway, that's what we're up to. Got Hardee's. Yeah, that's fine. So, goes it in on 630. Ah, you just beat Purdue. I am shocked at that. But they did. They hung on. They got a 16 point lead that got all the way down to two, I think, three, and somehow got the win. Oh, Philip dodged the video camera. All right, he's trying to fight me. Okay, we uh, haven't done much this afternoon. We sat around and watched the game. Uh, Duke and Carolina are getting ready to start in a minute, but I'm not watching because I'm so mad at my Tar Heels. And that game is not good for my heart. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. We're getting so Italian for dinner. I'm gonna go pick it up and show ya. Show you what I got. <laughs> so, so Italian for dinner. There's our guy. Uh, looks like just a mad chef, doesn't he? Cheese pizza and Panzerotti. Cheese. Sausage, pepperoni. Three of us got those. Phil got some pizza. And let's have some dinner. Um, okay, it is 8.30. Pizza. I didn't have any pizza. I just had my, whatever it's called, calzone thing. Panzerati. And it was delicious. Um, North Carolina just lost to Duke. Uh, North Carolina had a player that was 1 of 11. And he took two last most important shots. And missed terribly on both of them. So, you just, you know, <clears throat> you cheer for a team. And if they do stupid stuff, uh, you got to be old enough and mature enough just to walk away. So, didn't waste. I wasted some time watching them. And it was fun. They were hanging in there. But they should have won that game with ease. And they didn't. And it makes me mad. But anyway, I am going to head to Kroger. Pick up some stuff for tomorrow's lunch. So, let's see if we find anything fun there. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have uh, pasta for lunch because we have pasta every weekend, but this one is going to be a little different. Change of plans. I'm going to go in the morning to get the meat and get some fresh drinks uh, when we're out. So we are hanging out here at home. Let's take a peek outside. It's like 40, 45 degrees outside, but here's the problem we're running into. I don't know if you can see anything. We're on the GoPro here. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. It is still a little, oh, that was terrible. I'm sorry, I put you right up to the light. Uh, anyway, here we are. Can you hear that? It is crazy windy. There's the moon. Uh, it's like 45, but it does not feel like it. She is jonesing to get outside. It's cold and windy, kitty. I can't go outside in this. Uh, you know what stinks is uh, when there's a soft drinks built on your oven means everything all sticky so this has been the evening chore cleaning all the 
Sprite off of the uh, oven. Yeah. Okay, we watched. What did we watched before Mike and Molly. We watched a couple. Yo, that's what we watched. We watched a couple YouTube videos. Got caught up on those uh, uh, people that we follow. We also watched. We were three episodes behind on Ghosts, a CBS show that is hilarious. These last three weren't as funny as the other ones, but they're still pretty good. Um, it, uh, I don't know what's happening behind the camera. Um, I think there was a. Cleaning the sprite broken nail. I think there was a broken fingernail. We watched uh, three episodes of Ghost, and then we watched a couple episodes of Mike and Molly to get through, I think, the third season, maybe? Second season? One of those two. But both of those shows are hilarious. I know Mike and Molly's older. It's been it's been done for quite a while. But uh, we were watching those, and that's it for us on a Saturday. It's still crazy windy outside. A little bit more cloudy than what I thought, but I think it's supposed to warm up tomorrow, hopefully. So, um, did not go to the store tonight. We'll go tomorrow. I'll take you with us. I'm going to get up and probably head straight there just to get some stuff so we're gonna have some pasta for lunch and then uh, we are gonna do a few uh different grocery shops tomorrow I'll probably go to costco's probably go to myers so we'll see what we can find so um what is it a week before valentine's day two weeks or something i don't even know what it is um so we'll make sure that we check out and see if there's any ooh, valentine's candy or anything all right thanks for being here appreciate you it was a good day good uh baseball Good IU game, crappy Carolina game, but here we are. Thanks for being here. appreciate you. Make sure you subscribe, and we will talk to you tomorrow on Sunday. Hope your weekend's great.